Hello everyone, we will now be performing Donders A, B, C first hand. Donders A is simple reaction time, Donders B is choice reaction time, and Donders C is go and no go. And each of those different types of reaction time require different stages of processing. Therefore, also, each of those different um, variants of reaction time will yield different reaction times themselves. So A will be faster than C, which will be faster than B. So let's experience this ourselves. Please pay close attention to how you feel while actually performing these types of reaction time and pay close attention to which one you think you are fastest at and which one you are slowest at and so on. So to start with simple reaction time, whenever you see this yellow triangle, please tap the table in front of you with your left hand and you must react as quickly as possible after seeing this yellow triangle. Before every stimulus, I will show you this fixation cost. This means you need to get ready to react as quickly as possible. So get ready. And there you go, you should have reacted by now and tapped the table. Get ready for another one. Okie dokes. So you will have probably noticed that simple reaction time is very quick. What if, however, we introduce multiple stimulus response alternatives? So here in choice reaction time, we have a stimulus, which is the yellow triangle, and the response of tapping the table with the left hand. But an alternative can also be a new stimulus, which is a square, and the different response that needs to be done when uh, seeing the square shape is to tap the table not with your left hand but with your right hand. So now you need to still react as quickly as you can. If you see the yellow triangle, tap with your left hand. If you see the yellow square, tap the table with your right hand. Get ready. Okay, so you will have probably noticed that that was a lot more difficult and your, re your reaction time was probably slower because of it. What about on the C, go, no go? So this time, if you see the yellow triangle, still tap the table with your left hand. But if you see this red squarish thing, um, starish thing, um, then please do nothing. Okie doke, so. You will have now hopefully experienced how your simple reaction time was the quickest. So when there is one stimulus response alternative, this was followed by the go no go, because here you only have to actually identify the stimulus and the response which you have to program is always the same. Whereas Donders B is usually the slowest one, since here you have additional steps which we will go over now.